Yeah, we're starting on a loading screen. Welcome back to Star Wars, everyone. Star Wars Squadron specifically. Listen, here's the thing. I lied in episode one and two. We are not gonna play this on veteran. I tried uh, the first two missions on veteran and they are fucking difficult. Um, listen, hats off to this game. Uh, difficulty actually is difficult, although to be fair, to me, it seems like after struggling through, especially mission two, which is technically mission one, not the prologue on the veteran, it seems like this game does the classic, uh, you know, artificial difficulty thing of, you know, just having everything shoot at you at once. Um, you know, not like making the enemies smarter or anything, they just all shoot at you and all track you. So, this is a cute droid. Uh, I decided to stick with pilot. Yeah, I lied. First two episodes are clickbait. You know, shoot me. What can I do? Um, I just don't want it to be like, a, you know, constantly dying, restarting from checkpoint type struggle. I want to enjoy this game. This thing looks, she looks weird as hell. Cool design though. I can't believe we're still playing as the Rebels. I thought it would be like a back and forth switch. Nice chatting to you, ladies. Isn't that that? <laughs> do you see that dude in the background? Isn't that the dude that died in Rogue One? You know the mu mustache dude. I should be paying attention. I don't know. I, I was constant. I was um, captivated by the dude's mustache. Nice X wingo. Nice X wing butt. How about we don't fly an X-Wing for this one? This is nice though. This would be sick in VR. Uh, and I'm hella, I'm hella gonna play this game in VR. Just, I'm gonna be honest. Uh, can I get to... Thank you. I don't know why it did that. Um, about three months ago, maybe, I did hella cable management. Wedge. Hey, Wedge. Discount Wedge. I'll finish my point. I hear you're the reason I was able to finally get a calm through. I have a star destroyer problem that Vanguard might be able to help me solve. This doesn't look like veg at all, but it's okay. Now we prove what Vanguard's made of. Wedge, you would. What the hell is this? I like the twist that the rebels are the ones building a weapon now. I do like that. for us to jump in and not only disable that star destroyer but to seize control so first we need to give ourselves some cover by knocking out the turrets naturally if we can also take out the targeting system that'll buy us even more time next i like this classic star destroyer, star destroyer attack we'll need to find a potential breach point in the victorum's hull preferably near the bridge once you find a good spot bombard it until the hull is breached However, we can expect that the Victorum still has plenty of TIE fighters. They will try to stop us. Once the skies are clear, we can bring in the boarding team. Well, our Sounds good. Bridge, Vanguard will defend the exterior from reinforcements. Once the boarding team has seized the bridge and is in control of the Star Destroyer, we'll rendezvous with the Temperance. Okay, I think I accidentally made stealing a Star Destroyer sound simple. Let's hope it is. Doesn't a Star Destroyer have like 30,000 people on it? So it's like... How's that gonna work? Maybe they're not as loyal as they think. Vanguard can handle it. Can't you? Besides, Project Starhawk needs that Star Destroyer for... Well... 
very mysterious. Look at the stink eye. They he bo they both gave us, especially like these fish dudes can throw hella stink eye. So I did hella cable management on my room. Um, I don't remember what I was getting at. Shit, I'm stupid. Whatever. Oh yeah, and I disconnected my PSVR. So I'm like, it's like a 500 cables to get that thing connected. Uh, so I've been too lazy to like plug it back. General Sindula gave me a temporary assignment to Project Starhawk. That blockade runner goes by every single briefing. That's classified too. General Sindula keeps us busy. Your commander and I have something in common. I once flew for the Empire too. At Sky Strike Academy. Turning to the Rebellion was the smartest move I ever made. I wish more of my friends had done the same. You can say that again, I guess. Talus groups waiting for us. All right, let's do this. Anyone else want to have a friendly conversation? I don't think so. Let's go. So we're headed to Yavin. I like her. A little bit strange in terms of the hand gesture department. That's enough firepower to tackle a small fleet, or a means to catch the Empire off guard. But that wouldn't warrant all this secrecy. There must be more to the Commander's plan. We'll just have to trust him. Too bad there isn't an easier way to get what we need. Even a damaged Star Destroyer has deck upon deck of Durasteel plating, turrets, shields. My poor bigoted father called Star Destroyers the fists of the Empire. He wasn't wrong. But cool story, bro. If you're good, you go for the two bubble shields and then you go for the bridge. And that's how you take down a Star Destroyer in every Star Wars game. Let's not delay. Like ever. Anyone else? Yet, I think. The commander wants you in an X Wing for this mission. Got you outfitted with ion missiles. They disable enemy fighters and they'll disable subsystems on enemy capital ships too. That sounds good. I know what an ion missile does. Don't worry. We cool. I kind of want to play as the Empire though now. You know, there is temptation unless there's like a mid-mission there is no mid-mission switch we got the briefing and everything and that's it holy shit we're in the clouds We got you. This is so cool. I like the background a lot. Didn't they say it? There we go. Okay. I thought there weren't any. Don't worry. I learned something from the hard mode that... I mean, playing hard mode that diverting to engines is fucking useful. Like, super, super useful. Yeah. 
that's like pretty much the best way to escape fighters especially ones on you whatever we need less of that here for sure Man. oh shit I have the iron weapons St stupid not me but having the iron weapon that hella destroyed it though you know so then who cares really Did I just hit some? I just hit something. Or something just hit me. Don't worry, I got this. Everybody is on this interceptor. There we go. Of course. Oh, this is so cool. This is so nice looking. That looks so good. With the orange and the lighting. Well done, well done. I didn't think there would be like planet... Terry atmosphere flying. Because, you know, like the X-Wing games, the simulator games never did that. I don't think they had, like, the capacity to do it. You can focus your shield towards the front and back of your ship. Oh, that's what I wanted to. Hold square to open the shield focus selector. This is... This is what I would have needed. Like this would have been hella useful, boys. To let me know about. You know. Let's disable it. Oh, if I'd known about this, everything would have been so much easier. Did I get it? I think yes. That's the breach point. Okay, fighters, I think I'm gonna go balanced. Oh, we need there's multiple breach points. I got you, fam. Oh, we have several like options or shit. Ah, uh, th this would have like solved veteran. This shield focusing thing. Like you could have told me about this way earlier. Damn. What is this? Oh shit! There's like some command mode or something.
Oh, did I not? Fuck. I'm stupid. I got you. I got you. I thought I did breach it. Whatever. Maybe I was just testing it. I got you. Told you I got you. Sounds good. Yeah, I wonder if you actually have uh, access to this feature uh, and if the game just doesn't tell you about it, I assume. Because this changes everything. Because my main issue, the reason I was having trouble with Where is that? Is that it? Oh, there they are. Told you. Get that cannon. That's like the best part of shooting a Star Destroyer, getting those cannons. Like, so satisfying. I don't know if that made any sense. Probably not. So, yeah, I'm assuming the game lets you have this feature. It doesn't, like, lock you out of it. Because that, like... That changes a lot. Can we? Mr. Wedge. One of the few people named after a shape. Wedge is not a shape, is it? It's like a... Certainly a doorstop. Never mind that we're getting shot at. It's all Gucci. Sounds like a plan, boys. By default, your targeting system will only cycle through objectives, but you can change that with the targeting. That's what I found. You can set your targeting flagship systems to focus on the subsystems of a deadly star destroyer or all enemies to target enemies, blah, blah, blah. Cool. It's this, right? Flagship systems. That's pretty cool. Should be careful. Power system. Oh, that's for the Star Destroyer, though. Balance that shit. Go to shield mode. I don't even know what the fuck I'm shooting at. Eye on this bitch. Fuck. I'm getting like really shot at. Fuck. 
Oh, why? Why am I in fucking what you call it mode? There we go. Shit. That was easy. All right, team. Let's finish off the rest. Bridge is sealed. Cutting through the blast doors. Okay, let's see this. Ally my squadron missiles all enemy last attacker. Okay, I'm taking fire. Definitely need that last attacker. Shit. Okay, I got beaten there a little bit. Beaten up. It's all good. Cool. Man, the particle effects go crazy in this game. Wonder if we'll ever get to go on that U wing. It's what I want to fly. You never even got to fly that in Battlefront either, because you could only use the turret, right? I seem to remember. Where is this full wedge? Um. Shit. Wedge. Is that you? It's a little bit strange. Not locking on to Wedge. Whatever. Am I complaining? Not really. Oh shit, another one. Yeah, right. My butt is prepared. Oh, I, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. That Star Destroyer has taken down its own carrier. What a sight. Yes, the ship is ours. You actually did it. And Project Starhawk has a Star Destroyer. That was hella easy. Went down like bitches, too. Well, that was very, that was much easier than the previous mission <laughs> on a veteran. Uh, I can imagine this being, god damn, this efficiency medal is really like beating me. Intelligence operative, I am assuming you gotta scan shit. Uh, that's the only thing I can think of. Um, we'll see what's next. I want to see what's next. Just quickly glance into what's going on. Who gave me sick? Oh, we're still sticking with these dudes? These dudes? Alright then. It's a gong droid or whatever this thing is called. Can't even move, what a bitch. Anyways, this was a fun mission. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up here. Thank you guys very much for watching. We'll talk to all these schmucks in the next episode. And yeah, we'll fly on. We'll fly on. We'll see if we get to pilot something that's not an X-Wing. Yeah. See you next time. This game is great. Peace out.